are you your best friend's best friend the world does not need to know anything that's going on between you and your partner it's the audacity for me a very very dirty girl Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sims. If you're Sims, be sure to face for the first time, you're most definitely welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I have learned that nothing good ever comes out of telling somebody something that they should not even know about. Okay, so before you go on to tell somebody something really personal about you, take a step back for a minute and think about these three questions. Firstly, does this person need to know this particular information I'm about to tell the person? Does the person need to know? If I don't tell the person, is it going to impact the person negatively? Or is it going to impact negatively? Secondly, is this information important to this person? So don't get me wrong, there's a difference between information being important to you and being important to the other person or the person that you're about to tell. So is this information important in any way to the other person? If it's not, why are you telling the person? Because honestly, the person will not care about that piece of information. Thirdly, is something good going to come out of me telling this person something? Is anything going to change? Or me telling this person, is this going to change my situation? If your answer to these two questions is no, then why are you telling the person? My advice to you is to hush it. And the only reason why I'm saying hush it and not shut up is because I don't want to be harsh. Because in reality, you should shut up. Honestly. Haven't you been in situations where you just felt like, oh, if I just kept quiet, I would not be in this mess. You could have just avoided it by just keeping quiet. And yeah, and today I'm going to be telling you about five things that I think you should keep quiet about. This topic is called the power of silence and I'm going to be doing so many other videos on the power of silence. But this particular video is five things that I think you should keep quiet about. The first thing is your relationship. Honestly. The world does not need to know anything that's going on between you and your partner. What happens between you and your partner should stay between you and your partner. So don't, I'm not saying don't ask for advice. There are times when you need somebody to knock you on the head and make, bring you back to your senses or make you see things the way you're not seeing it. That's totally different. And if you're telling somebody something like that, it has to be someone that you can trust. Because honestly, if you think about it, everybody has a best friend. Even your mom, her best friend is probably your dad. So first think about, are you your best friend's best friend? One thing that scares me the most in this world is being the subject of somebody's gist or somebody's gossip. Like, no, no, no. I do not even like it. God knows that I don't like it. I don't want to be the subject of anybody's gist. Information that people should not be passing around about me. I don't want it to get out. So why put yourself in that situation in the first place when you could have avoided it? You see people on social media putting their relationship issues on the internet. I don't get it. Because that people on the internet are going to do for it. The only thing they will say is, oh, and that's it. Just one minute of their sympathy. How is that going to help you or help your relationship in any way? There's some things that should never even go out. That should just be between you. And your partner i don't know how people do it and one thing is once you put something on the internet it never goes away i'm not saying don't seek for advice seek for advice from people that are trusted the thing i think you should keep quiet about and not tell anybody is about your finances <laughs> i kind of emphasize this because i know sometimes you're friends with people and you're with your friends you're just in and then you now start to drop oh my salary is this oh i earned this or i gave this person this just keep quiet you don't know what's going through somebody else's mind many people are not happy for you as much as you think they are whatever you're saying could be affecting that person's mental health for example if you're saying oh you earn so much and you're talking to your friends that don't earn so much and like you don't know what that person has been thinking maybe that person is currently feeling like oh i want to do better i want to be in a better place and then you're not coming to tell them that you are earning this you are traveling here for work you're doing this you're doing that you don't know how whatever it is that you're telling that person is affecting that person mentally. You might just push somebody into depression because the person is just going to be thinking, ah, this person is my friend, this person is my age. What am I not doing better? I'm working hard and I'm not earning this. What am I not doing good enough? Am I not good enough? And just start asking themselves different questions. So before you say anything, think about it. And do they need to know? No. 
they do not but if you guys understand what i'm saying there's really no need to divulge what you're earning and if you give somebody something money whatever it is there's really no need going around to broadcast that i gave somebody something or i donated this amount i went to the motherless privilege home to go and do something 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 honestly if you're doing something do it from the goodness of your heart and let it go there's no need to be going around talking about it the third thing that i think you should keep quiet is your health issues your health situations i don't even know how you feel comfortable going to tell somebody about what you are going through health wise or what's wrong with your health is the person your doctor if the person is not your doctor the person does not need to know if it's your family member i totally understand that sometimes you might need to tell your family members what you're going through so that they can support you that's totally understandable there are people that have gone through what you're going through and you can talk to them because you need advice from them based on okay you've gone through this how are you able to solve it or because you're confused you don't know where to go or what to do that's totally understandable there are also people that probably live close to you if you have an infection let me just use covid for example of course people that are living close to you or people that are your family members you tell them oh i have covid so they don't come close to you so they don't get affected infected so if it's not for somebody's safety purposes if it's not for your safety and if it's not if they cannot help your situation why do you need to tell them because honestly even some people that you think are going to advise you based on their experiences they'll even be just spreading rumors about you so why not go to your doctor and get the advice that you need so the first thing that i think you should hush or keep quiet about will be your plans and your aspirations or your goals now there's something called energy and there's something gen z's will say vibe there's a vibe that everybody has honestly and if you're telling somebody something if you just i know it can be so exciting when you come up with a very good idea and it's just exciting you're just thinking and ideas are just coming to your head and you're just telling this person oh my god i came up with this idea this is business i want to this is how i'm going to do it just take a step back sis because honestly this person that you're telling does this person really yeah. and somebody might not intentionally wish you bad but the vibe around that person might not work with yours the spirit around that person might not work with yours and it might affect your ideas and everything around you so you should also be careful with the people that are around you you are surrounded by you should also be careful with the people that you tell your ideas because not everybody will understand the ideas that you have honestly even your parents might not understand the ideas that you have that's why there's so many people that are artists now and they say that when they wanted to become an artist their parents did not support their goal not everybody is going to understand the plans and the ideas that you have so why not sit down and think about how to achieve that idea that you have or how to make that idea that you have bigger and do not be scared of actually failing at it because when you fail at something you learn from it and you pick yourself back up make the idea better and you go for it but when you're just telling everybody that cares to listen all your ideas your goals another thing somebody can steal your idea and go with it you might not have the finances to roll with that particular idea somebody else might have the finances and you've gone to go and tell this person what you think next thing person rolls with your idea and person is doing something big so please <laughs> it's not everything that you have to tell everybody you don't just um start telling everybody that kids listen tell your colleague that what tell this. i'm learning like i'm not perfect at any of these things i'm totally like because i like to talk so it is hard i'm not saying it's easy to keep these things to yourself it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard but all you can do is think about the positives, think about the negatives before you tell someone something. And if it's more of negative, then just keep quiet. If somebody doesn't really need to know, keep quiet. You see that thing will impact your life, keep quiet. Now the fifth thing that I think you should keep quiet about and not talk about is what somebody else has told you about themselves first of all it's one thing for you to tell people things about you now it is another thing for you to now tell people things about somebody else like you don't have the right who gives you the right to talk about somebody else to something i've told you something like who gives you the right to go and tell somebody else that thing especially after i've said oh don't tell this person even if i don't say don't tell this person do you need to go and tell the person like why for me if i'm telling you something and you go and tell somebody else something like 
it's the audacity for me that my, like is the audacity for me and you're a very very dirty girl if somebody comes come and meet you a dirty boy if somebody comes come and meet you tell you something and you're going to go and gossip about it to somebody else to you it might not even seem like gossip to you i'm just i'm just gisting i'm just talking about like it's not necessary it shouldn't come from you it's not in your place to talk about that thing and if it's not in your place then you shouldn't be talking about it if the person wanted that other person to know if mr a wanted mr c to know then mr a would have gone to mr c directly but if mr a did not go to mr c directly what gives you the right to go to mr c to tell them what mr a has told you and don't be that friend don't be that dirty girl don't be that dirty boy don't be that friend that is just about what somebody has told you if you don't want people carrying your secrets because karma is a bitch honestly i'm sorry to be using the b word but yeah karma is real so if you're going to be telling people things about somebody else why won't somebody else talk to you and tell other people about you so don't even involve yourself in any form of gossip because honestly it's people that gossip that other people will come and be meeting to gossip with if you're not a gossip nobody will come and meet you to come and go because you're not going to answer them they know that you're not that kind of person so please before you say oh my enemies are after me i'm in a lot of drama i'm just mixed up i'm in trouble at work i'm in trouble with my friends my friends are angry with me this is this, this, that think about it was there something that i should not have said that it was not my place to say that i said or was there something that i should have kept to myself so that this person would not have gone to go and tell my boss or gone to go and tell my friend was there something that i should have just kept quiet so yes guys i hope that you've learned one or two things in this video and yeah drop more things in the comment section that you think people should not talk about if you have watched this video to the end Please drop in the comments section. Gossip. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. This is.